Hello student. Now we'll see the calculation to generate a square wave using timer zero. In earlier lecture, we have seen what are the resistors are associated with the timer zero in SFRs. So we have to configure that resistors. So first resistor we have already seen T0 con and INT con. INT con from interrupt and T0 con is a timer zero control resistor. First step, select 16 bit mode or 8 bit mode in T0 con resistor format. In T0 con resistors, they are given 16 bit as well as 8 bit configuration. Load TMR0 H then TMR 0L with initial values. Calculate the count and load the value of that count into TMR0H and TMR0L. Both are 8 bit resistors. If you use a 16 bit timer, then we have to load the count, 16 bit count into TMR0H and TMR0L. If we'll go for the 8 bit mode, then only TMR0 will be in picture uh, and TMR0H is uh, not used. Start timer by set TMR0 on bit from T0 con. Uh, already I said that uh, these uh, SFRs are bit addressable. So single bit we can set or clear. If you want to start or enable the timer, we can set that particular uh, timer 0 on bit. Then monitor TMR OIF. It is from INT con uh, bit. Uh, this bit is used whether the timer is overflow or not. Uh, if it is overflow, if this bit is TMR0IF is set, then this TMR0IF will set, then timer say it is overflow is there. The count is completed. The when TMR uh, TMR0IF is set, then it is overflow the stop the timer reset the flags and again load the count into these TMROH and TMROL now here uh, T0 con resistor combination if I choose timer 0 with 16 bit timer without prescaler what are the bits we have to consider the first condition is say it is 16 bit timer 16 bit timer means what this t0 uh, t0 8 bit will be 0 without prescaler that means you are bypassing uh, prescaler so use this one bit now you are using internal clock we are using this is as a timer delay so we have to use internal clock so this bit also 0 then we are not using external clock so this bit is don't care condition or put zero so what will be the count of t0 con first is zero will later on will set this to enable the timer uh, earlier we have to keep as a zero then this we are using 16 bit that's why it comes with a zero then we are using internal clock so this bit is zero it is increment low to high so this one is zero PSA, we are bypassing the prescaler, that's why it comes with a 1 and the rest of the 0, 0. Otherwise, it is don't care condition. Now, T0 con count is 0, 8. Now, this number is a 0, 8. This is a binary number of 8 and this is binary number of 0. If I choose timer 0 with 16 bit timer with prescaler 1 as to 8, 1 as to 8 means this one combination. So, this 0 1 0 0 1 0 but i am using prescaler so this one bit will be 0 this psa will be 0 so your combination is the t0 count the t0 count will be count 0 2 h uh, here Generate square wave with frequency 10 kilohertz using crystal frequency 8 megahertz. We are using internal clock frequency that your F oscillator will be 8 megahertz divided by 4. So without prescaler, so no need of to 
divide one more number. So only eight megahertz divided by four. T oscillator. We know the uh, relation between the time and the frequency. Both are inversely proportional. So T oscillator is equal to one upon F oscillator, which comes a value zero point five microsecond. The square wave we want ten kilohertz. Ten kilohertz means your square wave will be like this. So total time is this T on plus T off. So total time will be one upon total frequency is hundred microseconds. Hundred microseconds. So T on is equal to so total is half of this because we are we are what we are doing we are generating square wave so t on and t off will be both will be equal so t t on is equal to t total divided by 2 so 100 microseconds divided by 2 is comes with 50 microseconds so the count is t on divided by t oscillator is equal to 100 if you go for the 16 bit timer so 16 bit timers gives the how much combination is 2 raised to 16 2 raised to 16 that's why 65536 so the total count we have calculated earlier subtract this from 65536 you will get decimal value convert into here yeah, hex value hex value so this lower 8 bit and upper 8 will be store into the tmr0l and tmr0h respectively like tmr0 will hold the 9c and tmroh will hold the 55 if this 100 decimal value is earlier converted into hex value the formula will be different fff double f double f minus count in hex plus one if you'll go for a timer 8 bit then the how much combination will be there 2 raised to 8 is equal to 256 so 256 minus 100 which give the decimal value 156 which convert into the hex value 9c so only tmr 0l 0l will be in program and tmr 0h just neglected in hex value 256 on uh, the hex conversion is ff minus count plus 1 here I have written program to generate 10 kilohertz square wave. So we have to define header file. Void timer init void. Void mean trace d. What is mean by it? Trace d is uh, each port has a three registers. What are the three registers? Uh, which are already defined in SFR port trace and latch if i'm talking about the port d the trace d latd and port d if you want to define port as an input or output we have to use register sfr trace d so we cannot directly out any data through the port so we have to first latch that data into lat lat register and then move to the out or in so use LED here I have interface uh, LED and to see the combination of square wave or observe the port uh, I have to either attach uh, oscilloscope or LED so that means this port is assigned as output port so to assign output port we use 0 0 that is clear if I want to assign as an input, then it gives the 1 1 that means FF. Then we want continuous square wave generation, so I call for while. Then LATD is 0 0. LAD now I have to send a data 0 0. I call a timer function timer underscore init. This is a function. So here I called for function timers underscore in it. Then I, uh, LATD 0FF is a toggle. So here I written a routine for this function timers underscore in it. What are the steps? First of all, whether it is 16 bit or 8 bit, it is 16 bit without prescaler. So the T0 count is 0. Then load this TMROA 
H and TM are OL with a count. So upper bit is FF and lower is 9C. Now turn on the timer 0. So as I said it is bit addressable. Now T0 con bits dot TMRON. It is from your T0 con bit 1. Now in fourth steps I explain that we have to observe this TMR 0 IF from INT con bits whether it is overflow or not. If it is 0 then stop the timer and uh, clear the your interrupt flag. One example I have given write C18 program to generate a frequency of 250 hertz on port B that means we have to toggle this beat with 250 hertz using timer 0 16 bit mode no prescaler free crystal frequency 100 megahertz I have already calculated this value you can also calculate with the reference I'll show you MP lab then go to project wizard which I see peak 18 F 4458 next I am using microchip C18 tool suit so C compiler because I want to write the program in C now browse square wave with timer 0 Save. Next, next, and finish. Then file new. So in this window, window, we have to write a program in C. So already I have written this program. I'll just copy paste. Now what we what we have to do? So this is in C. So we have to give extension as a C. So we have to give extension with C. Save. Now go to source file, right click on C, source file, right click on source file, add files, then this where we have square wave underscore timer zero, open, open it. Now build it. If it is built successful, Okay, no error is there. Now, go to debugger, select MP Lab Sim. Now, view simulator logic analyzer where we can observe the On which pin we are toggling, it is port B, port pin. So here RB4, only I'll choose 
rb for add okay now start animation see it will show what is happening behind the your program now it's square wave You can take a printout of this output. You can scale. Okay, take a printout of this. Save as a PDF. This is your output. Thank you, student.